September 11, 2001 Terrorists hijacked four U.S. planes, crashing two into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, while a third hits the U.S. Pentagon minutes later. The fourth plane targeted to hit the White House crashes into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania after passengers attack the terrorists. The death toll, not including the nine hijackers, was 2,977. September 12, 2001, Bush addresses the nation declaring war and stating, the United States of America will use all our resources to conquer this enemy. We will rally the world, we will be patient, we will be focused, and we will be steadfast in our determination. This battle will take time and resolve. But make no mistake, we will win. In a speech addressing Congress and the nation, Bush announces the war on terror, saying, Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda. But it does not end there. It will not end until every terrorist group of global reach has been found, stopped, and defeated. September 25th, 2001. Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld announces the anti-terror campaign as Operation Enduring Freedom, which he says will take years to fight. The following day, Saudi Arabia ends diplomatic ties with Afghanistan's Taliban government. October 7, 2001. Airstrikes by the United States and Great Britain are launched in Afghanistan at the Taliban and Al-Qaeda training camps and targets. What America is now is only a copy of what we have tasted. Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden says in a video statement released the same day, our Islamic nation has been tasting the same for more than 80 years of humiliation and disgrace. Its sons killed and their blood spilled. Its sanctities desecrated. October 19th through 20, 2001. The ground war begins with special forces striking in Kandar and the coming weeks, Britain, Turkey, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, France, Poland, all announce they will deploy troops to Afghanistan. November 9th, 2001. The Afghan Northern Alliance captures Mazar-e-Sharif, a Taliban stronghold. November 13th, 2001. Kabul falls following airstrikes and ground attacks by the United States and Afghan Northern Alliance. December 6th through 17th, 2001. The Battle of Tora Bora rages in a cave complex in eastern Afghanistan's White Mountains. U.S.-led coalition forces attempt to capture Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, but he escapes. February 21st, 2002. A video confirms the execution-style death of Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl by Kahil Saik Mohammed, a self-described mastermind of the 9-11 attacks. June 13, 2002, Hamad Khazari, a favored candidate of the U.S., is elected by a traditional Afghan Loya Jigara Council to a two-year term as Afghan's transitional head of state. In 2004, he becomes Afghan's first democratically elected president. March 19, 2003, U.S. and coalition forces invade Iraq following intelligence that the country and its dictator Saddam Hussein possessed or were developing weapons of mass destruction. December 13, 2003, Saddam Hussein is captured by U.S. soldiers in Adwar, Iraq. March 11, 2004, a coordinated bombing of four commuter trains in Madrid kills 191 people and injures more than 2,000. Islamic militias based in Spain, but inspired by Al-Qaeda, are later considered the prime suspects. July 7, 2005, terrorist bombings on the London Underground and atop a double-decker bus kill 52 people and injure more than 700. Documents will recover in 2012, will reveal the attacks were planned by a British citizen working for Al-Qaeda. December 30th, 2006, 
after being sentenced to death by hanging for war crimes and crimes against humanity, Saddam Hussein is executed in Baghdad. May 2nd, 2011, Osama bin Laden is killed by U.S. Special Forces during a raid at an abated Pakistan compound. June 22nd, 2011, in a televised address, Obama announces the withdrawal of U.S. troops from, from Afghanistan in a hand over power to Afghani security by 2014. August 2011, 38 service members are killed when the helicopter they aboard comes under fire. This month becomes the deadliest ever for U.S. forces in Afghanistan with 66 fatalities. December 28, 2014, the war in Afghanistan officially ends, though Obama states 10,800 U.S. troops will remain.